Cheers, motherfuckers! Happy Friday! Cheers to you, Super Saiyan Joku. Uh, let me hit it for you before we get into the fucking show. I want to have the world! The world's most comfortable pair of ultra soft! Ah! Cheers, motherfucker! Happy Friday to you. It's LGBTQ plus and minus quotation marks. Add whatever the fuck you want and then close the quotation marks. Day, motherfuckers! As you can tell, we're celebrating with some daiquiris and shit. And uh, that's how we're rolling today. Cheers, Joku! Happy Friday, dude. Um, public advisory, we do have three channels. We have this channel. The other one is the emergency broadcast. And then we do have the illegal broadcast channel, which you should be subscribing to. The emergency one, we really only use it for whenever the fuck uh, we get banned or we get a strike and shit. Uh, it hasn't happened in a while. And uh, hopefully uh, you don't have, but, you know, that was an emergency. We go and stream live on that one. That's what happened last time. That's why we're back now on the main channel and shit. Uh, but the other channel, which you should subscribe to, is called the Illegal Underground Broadcast. Actually, if you're a wrestling fan, that's why you should subscribe to. That's what I'm trying to say. Because I watch the pay-per-views and we have watch parties and we get high and shit. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're watching that t this Sunday. At 6 p.m. We're going to start. It's going to be badass, motherfuckers. Uh, make sure you be there or be squared. Uh, so, yeah. Cheers for that and all that ass. And we're going to watch some AEW good five-star five, five star rating matches and shit. All right. Enough of that ass. Showing off. Fuck you. Joe Cool. Uh, let's get into the fucking uh, comments and shit. Because we had a lot of comments. Of course, the social media is uh, for the X. is uh, at the man 665 and uh, for Instagram is at the underground broadcast. And then uh, and it's, it says, thank you, subscribers. Oh, shit. I, I, <laughs> fucking, hey, fuck you, Super Saiyan Joku. I am real, real fucking high. I took a, I'm not smoking anymore, but I took, they're called rings, mushroom caps uh, with, with THCP or whatever. And it's got some, some of that shit for the mushrooms and shit. And I took three. And I'm really fucked up right now. Cheers! Oh, yeah! I still can't believe this sell this shit at the store. All this time, I'm, I'm going, you know, to the dangerous part of the neighborhood, which is kind of like around the corner. Um, you know, and, and doing illegal stuff to buy drugs and then now all, all, all this time they'd be selling it right there in the corner of the store legally times have changed fellas times have changed all right all right let's get into the comments on the real uh because i think we have a lot of comments i don't know if we went viral but there's a lot of comments the first comment is uh, this guy's a, a avatar, a Superman, of uh, the Zack Snyder, or no, yeah, Zack Snyder Superman. And this guy says, uh, I'm halfway through, and this might be the most ignorant and obnoxious YouTuber in the multiverse. Uh, oh, he watched half of the video, and that's the podcast. Those are like three hour long videos, you motherfucker. You watch for an hour and a half. That's fucking badass. Go click on another video and watch another half. We need more, more. Now we need more views, but we need more watch time. It, it, that's what it, what it is to make money. We were so close. Once we get uh, the monetization and shit, then we can make some money. We want to make one dollar a day. So at the end of the year, we take all what we raised and we buy a pound of wheat. Oh wait, but I can't smoke anymore. Fuck. I don't know. We'll think of something to spend the money on. 
Something productive that'll get us fucked up. Anyways, uh, cheers, Jesus is goat. Oh, this guy. The goat of what? This fucking guy. I see the guys don't are not, they're not specific. I'm still cheering. See you, Jesus. Cheers. I think there's strawberries stuck in my straw. Let me suck it through the other end. That's what she said. Ugh. Now it's dripping down my mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> Cheers! <sighs> alright, alright. Let's move on for the comments. Oh, Rocco fuck my life, this Satanist. Let me hit it for him. Uh, why isn't it this working? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm fucking out of it right now. I can't wait till we make it. We're gonna have a white guy doing this shit for me. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Rocco. Fuck you, Rocco. You say to this. He says, cheers, son of man. Yeah, I started out as a troll on the comments video. I'm sorry. I'm really high. I started out as a troll and I wound up a fan. F who should not, F he who should not be named. Oh, this guy. When he quit, he didn't just quit on you, he quit on all of us. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag cinnamon goat. Oh, no, I don't want to be a goat. Maybe a ram, though they have better horns. Maybe cinnamon ram. Oh, yeah, that's what I would say. Uh, cheers, Rocco, you crazy asshole. Uh, stop picking on uh, he who should not be named, all right? <laughs> it's not his fault he grew a vagina. It's not his fault. It happens sometimes. Cheers, Rocco. Quit being an asshole. Live. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Let's move on. Oh, this guy. I thought he was going to get the last word, but not not this time, fellas. None other than Houston, Texas' very own Jose Trevino left a comment. Repites tu nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano, mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? <laughs> Envidia, puto. Oh, cheers, Joku. You crazy asshole. He says, Damn, son, you messed up, you idiot. It's rare to find a chick that likes eastbound and down. She was the one. Uh, no, dude, not with her fucking line of work. <laughs> you don't want to know. Uh, oh, well, now she probably belongs to the streets. No, we, she already did. <laughs> In my opinion, Vice Principals is better than eastbound and down and is only two seasons. Kenny Powers makes a cameo, oh, in Vice Principals, and yes, Daddy McBride has played two roles, oh, that must be epic, fucking Joe, always with his trivia and ass, I'm gonna have to get it, uh, Vice Principals, I never even heard of it, I had no idea, I had no idea, it's shit, but he's, he's bound and bound. I was I was hot for that for that chick that he had the hots for the fucking principal and shit the little the, the little chubby the chubby chick uh, the teacher. <laughs> all, right, all right, let's move on, Joe. He was fucking strained from the subjects and shit. Motherfucker trying to run a show here. You over here like fucking with your your shit. What's it to me, yo? We love you. All right, all right. Oh, Anthony Timmy! <laughs> the motherfucker on the Jonathan Majors continues with his comeback video. He says, How is he still working? Must be nice to be special. 
Yeah, it must be nice to be privileged. That's what you mean. The motherfuckers in Hollywood. The mother rich motherfuckers. You guy, this guy doesn't live in my neighborhood. He's never lived in a neighborhood like mine. Pussy. You know what I'm saying? He grew he grew up over there in the in the in the burbs with the fucking with the white people and shit. The light skins. That's where he grew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got picked on because he was darker than them. But now he's famous and beat a white woman and uh, his careers in shambles. Trying to make a back uh, a comeback. We'll talk more about this later. Anthony Timmons. Cheers, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, all right. Timmons also says, on the fucking Kevin Feige missed the Sony crossover. Sony's getting bad too, but they did dodge a bullet here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, they, they just have to look into his eyes, you know, and when he talks, he just sounds like he could snap and, 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 and snap your neck or something with his big arms and shit. I mean, he's a big monster. He's Kang the Conqueror, for fuck's sakes. Pretty scary guy, pretty scary guy. I mean, it's intimidating, intimidating. It's what, it's what they call it, it's what they call it. Anyways, let's just keep going. Cheers, Timmons. Oh, David Latarte, this fucking Wong motherfucker again. Also on the Kevin Feige in the crossover with Sony. He says, maybe if we if we sick Johnny Majors on Sony, he could finally put them in their place. Yeah, yeah, he could beat the shit out of Amy Pascal. Ah, oh, bitch. Beat her down, motherfucker. This guy would dominate the shit out of Amy Pascal and her bitch ass. And A.V. Averett, fuck that old man. Fuck him up with one punch. Boom. That's it. He's dead. Motherfucker. King the Conqueror came to conquer Sony. Cheers. La tarde. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Let's see what else. Anthony Timmons and the Justin Timberlake got arrested for driving while intoxicated. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Even Justin Timberlake screws up and gets caught. Now the question is, will he get a slap on the wrist or he or will he eventually be punished? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Well, Timmons, you're going to have to wait and see for my reply because part of some of the shit we're going to talk about tonight. Son of a bitch. Now you're turning into Gomer. Some of these other assholes talking about everything we're going to say later. Motherfuckers. We love you. Cheers. Timmons. Oh, yeah. All right, all right let's, let's keep going. Anthony Timmons. Also on the Britney Spears trolls Justin Timberlake. You know, you've done fucked up when you have Britney Spears trolling you. Damn, Justin. Yeah, 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 yeah. His 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 pretty boy image got tainted suddenly. And David Latarte on the Justin is Innocent video. I read that his friends came out of the hotel bar and they saw Justin get pulled over and pleaded with the cops to let him go. Oh, they were all probably like, we're... Well, I'm not going to be balling his ass out of there in the in the ma uh, bailing his ass out of there in the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't have enough money for this pretty boy. I would have been like, hey, officer, please don't arrest him. Somebody's got to pay for this tab. It's not going to be none of us. <laughs> He's the rich one. Look at his blue eyes. Look at us. We're dirty. Let him go. He's the only privileged one here. I'll take the fall. Just pay the let him let him go so he can pay the bill. Let him go, please. <laughs> Cheers, la tarde. That's what would have been me. Don't worry, Justin. I would protect him with my life. Take the fall for him. David Latarte also says, "Under Britney Spears is trolling Justin." You can take the trash out of the trailer park, but you can't take the trailer park out of the trash. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's true. It's true. You can take the dick out of the ass, but sometimes the ass stays in the dick. That's that's the way it is. Cheers to that. Atate. Good job. All right, let's keep it going. Oh, speaking of assholes. Uh, no, ma'am, just rapist. Let me hit it for this fucking guy. No, ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. All right, no, ma'am. Says, hey, the guy oh, on the Justin is Innocent video. Hey, the guy always had a clean image. No, not A. Eh. The guy always had a clean image. And after all these years of being a celeb, he's never fucked up as bad as other people. That's true. I say give him a free pass. Johnny Major's got a pass. Why not this white boy? Cheers. Hashtag. Well, that's what I've been saying all along is why is fucking is Jonathan Majors beat somebody and a lot of people go to jail for some other bullshit that, that is literally bullshit like this. This is kind of bullshit. Everybody drives home drunk from the bar. Everybody. The cop, the cops, all, if they wanted, really wanted to do their jobs, all they got to do is go at, at fucking, at fucking, uh, what is it? Two, two fifty a.m. and park right outside of the bars every bar send all the cops out there and everybody comes out and starts getting into a car book them everybody book them all and they'll all fail the fucking blood test and sabrina they're all drunk driving home all of them all of them all of those cars hundreds of people which should be in jail every night just saying just in this innocent Anyways, let's keep going. Cheers, no ma'am, you dick. Oh, depost. <laughs> depost. Uh, the fucking uh, Justin is innocent. Also says, I had only one cocktail. Because that's what Justin said. Just one swimming pool filled with chicks serving coke and rum. Oh, that's badass. That, that, that was at the bar. He was at the bar. No, don't spread rumors, depose. This guy's a good boy. He's a good boy. All right, all right. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, depose also. Oh, motherfucker. He puts one of these timestamps. And he says, uh, uh, well, let me, let me fucking, uh, let me, let me show you what he said. Fuck you. This is Justin Timberlake. He used to date Britney Spears, pop ecstasies, get her pregnant, then give her some shit to have an abortion while he plays guitar in the bathroom. Of course, he knows how to dr whole drive home drunk. It's all true. Everything I said, dead not a lie. I'm just going to say the truth. But anyways, he says he's just very thirsty. It's so hot in L.A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is. It is. It really is. Uh, it's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. That's why all the lizards, the lizards live all there. The Jews, too. Actually, the Jews might be the lizards, but we'll get into it somewhere else. I'm mean, not kind of a podcast, all right? We're not, we're a broadcast, all right? We're not doing a fucking conspiracy ass here. Fuck you, Alex Jones, and all you fucking David Ickes and shit. Fuck you. Anyways, give it a on the, uh, Josh Gad uh, the, on Spaceballs 2. He revives the Schwartz. Oh, I did something special for this guy. Because he started his comment with this quote. Here we go. And I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. I don't really care about Joshy boy. But I'm pretty pumped to hear about modern parody of Star Wars. Especially knowing Mel Brooks is involved. Um... That is fucking badass. Uh, and I love that quote. That's when they, they, they pull the rings out. And he's like, oh, I see you got a Schwartz too. I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Oh, yeah, dude. It'll be fucking... Uh, I don't know. I, I just don't like Josh Gat. But but if they do, like, like if they parody fucking the Disney Star Wars, it would be badass. Uh, that's all I would say. Just parody the, parody the shit out of it. Uh, my favorite scene 
from that fucking movie is this. Now I had to put music, the the broadcast music on it, uh, because I'm pretty sure if I play the whole the scene, it'll get for sure banned. So, but you'll you'll still be able to hear it. But he, this is my favorite scene. If you're a fucking, if you know space balls, you dicks. What the hell am I looking at? When does this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. What happened then? Past it. When? Just now. Wear it now, now. Go back to then. When? Now. Now? Now. I can't. Why? You missed it. When? Just now. When will then be now? Soon. That's my favorite scene because they're watching the movie of the movie they're in. Uh, and on a fucking TV, and they get they fast they're fast forwarding and shit, and they get to the part where they literally are right now at this very moment, like you're right there on that, and he's all like, and you see that like where the what the when this is happening? It's happening right now in the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking stupid. Ah, uh, I love that fucking shit, bro. Uh, anyways, uh, let's see what else is next. Oh, David Latarte. Also, on the Don't Marry Younger Women If You're Rich, the, the Billy Ray Cyrus. This is why Jesus created prenups. Jesus did create prenups. You know, he's like, hey, you don't be sticking your dick in every bitch. You never know. She just wants some money. Most of them do. Yeah, Latarte is a smart man. That's why he's got Wong as his avatar and shit. Natarte, let me know you're Asian, motherfucker. Oh, shit. It's none other than... Cancelled for life. I almost forgot who he was. Cancelled for life, you motherfucker. Let me hit it for this asshole. This racist. What do you call a hundred black men buried in the ground up to their neck? What? Afro turf. So another. How do we know that Adam and Eve uh, weren't black? Oh. You ever try to take a rib away from a black man? Okay, what, 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 are, what are three <laughs> things that a black man can't get? A black eye, a fat lip, and a job. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna kick this boy. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. I wonder what they did. You racist. Um, Cancel for Life says, Wow, on the Josh Gads on board for Spaceballs 2. Wow, this is happening. Let's freaking go. My favorite parody of all time. Next to this is Spinal Tap. Dude, you just brought me back. I remember this is Spinal Tap. They had that... They, they he they wanted a set piece and shit and they were gonna have uh midgets dancing around Stonehenge and uh and when when it came out it was like it was like the little miniature Stonehenge and the midgets were around it and they were super pissed it's just hilarious that I like I haven't seen it in a long time I gotta download that anyways he keeps going. My favorite scene is the one where Dark Helmet says, I'm surrounded by assholes. Oh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do play that for you. Here we go. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole, major asshole. And his cousin? He's an asshole too, sir. Done his mate, first class, Philip Asshole. How many assholes we got on this ship anyhow? Yo! I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes. Ah, oh, this movie's so fucking good. If it's not that good, if the second one is not that good, fuck you. And anyways, uh, let me keep going. It blows my mind to know that Mel is still alive. Don't know how much about this Josh Gap guy, but I hope they trash Disney Star Wars in this next one. That's what I hope for, too. 
Imagine them making a parody of Ray as a strong lesbian character that is stronger than everyone and steals identities. The exact same thing. That's basically what she is, bro. You, you fucking guy. Yeah. Cheers, son of man. Hashtag. Live. Badass. Cheers. Uh. Cancel for life. Oh, Jose Trevino again? This son of a bitch. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play your thing again, Trevino. You fucked up. You played it. We played it once already. <laughs> what up, gay? I mean, you fucking guy. On Monday, I tried looking for your show, but just found your comments video. Oh, I don't know if YouTube was hiding your video or maybe it's just me. No, Trevino, I'm not going to lie. Joku, I forgot to fucking I replied. Uh, Joku said that he was clicking on the like button and it wouldn't let him click on it. And shit. And, and I was all like, what? And someone else told me, uh, a friend of mine or somebody told me that they clicked on the like button and that it didn't let them. And that it, it, I had banned them. And I'm like, why would I ban you? Uh, and so like, YouTube is fucking with my channel. We don't, we're not even famous. I'm not even monetized. Don't even have fucking 600 subscribers. These dicks. They're coming after us because of the way that I look, you sons of bitches. God damn it. You fellas, they're coming after us for this ass. These motherfuckers. Fuck you, YouTube. Hey, Google. You fucking AI, you trying to take over the world. This is sabotage. They're... We're, we're, they're blurred. We're not coming up on searches. Our videos are not coming out. Notifications. No one knows we're even here on YouTube. And shit. Fuck you. YouTube. You dicks. Cheers. Wait. I'm not even done reading his comments. Fucking Trevino. Why do you always fuck me up? Anyways. He says, Anyways. Nowadays, nothing really catches my attention besides the dabble verse. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Damn, I wish you and the woke pack got sucked in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, let me know. I, I like to suck stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> WWE, your show, of course. Deadpool and hate watching AEW clips. What's your take on wrestling and the timeless heavy Tony? Oh, yeah. Anyway, shout out to the Woke Pack. Cheers, son. Hashtag. Woke Pack. Oh, 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 live. Hashtag. Woke, woke Pack. World Order. Ah, oh, yeah. That's how we do in this channel, bitches. Um... Let me think what you asked me first. The, what's my take on the wrestling and shit? Uh, between the two companies, I'll just tell you like this. I, I only do this once a week. And when I wear this, I feel like I have a vice on my head. And it's giving me a headache right now, my, my headphones. Anyways, I'm just really high. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, this will be easier when there's someone with, with someone white in charge. Uh, anyways. Um... So the two companies is like, to me, is WE is like show. And it's literally what e, the E stands for. It's just entertainment. And the wrestling is. It's nothing special. Sadly, because they do have some of the world's best wrestlers and athletes. Not all of them, but some of them are fucking are really the some of the best in the world. But the majority 
Swear to God, the majority of the best wrestlers are in one company, and that's AEW. And AEW doesn't care about entertainment or keeping you glued in. The only thing they care about is going out there and fucking putting on one hell of a wrestling match. And they usually are fucking badass, especially the pay-per-views. That's why I'm excited about this Sunday. If anything, they always the pay-per-views are amazing. All the matches are just crazy. They set someone on fire the last time. For fuck's sakes, I was fucking nuts. Um, it's gonna be badass this Sunday. Make sure you watch us. When we're to live, uh, you go to the main channel on Saturday. It'll be up there the link, but it won't be till Sunday. In the main channel, the link will be there. You just follow the social media, the links will be there. And shit. AW Forbidden Door, we're watching it. Uh, what do I think about Timeless Heavy Tony? Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's what I think of Tony Storm. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sh shout out to fucking Jose Trevinones. Fucking dabble verse or whatever that fucking gay stuff. I don't know, man. I'm just you know I I saw gay porn once. I mean, you know, I was just I didn't I didn't get into it. All right, I just you know I gotta see I gotta see like you know a vagina in, you know in there and shit in between two dicks maybe yeah yeah something like that. I don't know. I'll, I'll consider it. All right. Anyways, let's keep going. I mean, you always gotta fuck shit up. Oh, this racist son of a bitch. Oh my god, we're gonna talk about this tonight. But here he is, none other than the trumpets will sound. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs. I want to build the wall. We need the wall. But we have some bad hombres here, and we're gonna get them out. And, uh, and you know how we do in this channel. Here is the future president of this country reading his comment. Hola, muchacho. I hope you and the woke pack saw me embarrass old Sleepy Joe on the debate. This was an excellent victory for America and for freedom. I'm taking my entire team out to eat at Hooters to celebrate or before they close any more of them down. Shout out to Gomer Kyle and the one and only Joe Cool. We got them on the run, fellas. Now let's make America great again. Again. Cheers, son of man. And as always, hashtag woke pack for life. Woke Fucking trumpets. Cheers. We're going to talk about this tonight. Hopefully we don't get fucking copyrights. So fucking they've been threatening channels to copyrights if you put clips. We'll find out tonight what happens to us. Cheers. <sighs> Anyways, let's get going. Anthony Timmons on the popcorn is humanity's extinction. That is the dumbest shit I've ever seen, and people will eat it up. Stupidity at its finest, he says. <laughs> this fucking guy. And let me make sure, because I think he was. Yes. Tim Eds, thank you for commenting, and trumpets, and all you motherfuckers. Uh, the Tim Eds, that was the last comment there. Uh, appreciate you guys for that ass, uh, and, and sending your comments. It's shit. And, uh, and, 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 uh, you make the show when you comment and then send me stuff to social media. So as long as it's not porn or your identities, I'm going to post it here for everyone to see, you know, some roadkill or I don't know, something you found some shit, you know, pictures of your wife. I like those. I like to collect those. Send me those. Uh, anyways, uh, let's keep, let's, let's, let's get the show. Let's keep it going, y'all, because, like, there's a lot we're gonna have to get into. Uh, I don't know, on the real. It is fucking national LGBTQ, YZ, plus or minus, hyphen, open, parentheses, whatever the fuck you want to insert here, close parentheses. 
day we're celebrating. We have even our show me your taco official show me your surgically made taco feels just like if better than the real thing apparently we're not gonna talk about that i should have god damn it uh poly shore apparently <laughs> uh so yeah that's what we're all about it today oh yeah we're all about it all the time 24 7 motherfucker cheers <laughs> No, no porn, Joku. We don't want to get banned already. There's like only one. Uh, you're the only one here tonight. Imagine. Then they're going to ban us and you're not even going to be able to see this. Fucking shit. No one sees this. You want the one person who sees this to never see this again? What's the matter with you? <laughs> uh, cheers, motherfucker. All right, let's get this going. We're going to get into... The Weekly Pop Culture Breakdown. And unfortunately, I will start with a downer. Because none other than Shifty Shell Shock. Frontman of Crazy Town, real name Seth Binzer, died at the age of 49. Already, he's gonna, he probably outlived me already. I'll be honest. Um, god damn, it's crazy. It's crazy. This guy. You know, the last time we did some, some expose, the last time when it was a, bro a podcast, when the motherfuckers were fighting, they went, they were doing a concert, and then the motherfucker was asking for his money. And then the, this guy beat the other guy. He beat him the fuck up, bro. And then he started hugging him and telling him that he loved him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he died, 49. This motherfucker. Probably drugs, cocaine. Ecstasy, fentanyl, bunch of patches. He put a bunch of patches on his neck, on his chest, all over. Fentanyls. Ugh. God damn. I still remember that. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly, sugar, baby. Oh, yeah. That's the only shit I ever heard. <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, I never really listened to any of that. But, yeah. I guess it sucks uh, left us really young uh, but oh well we got to move on let's 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 not be downers with this let's bring up the mood let's bring up the mood it is national LGBTQYZ plus and minus hyphen open parentheses insert whatever the fuck you want in here close parentheses and shit day and we're celebrating it with a shirt and all that ass and Cobra Kyle is here, so we're gonna get crazy! <laughs> we're gonna get wild! And we're gonna hit it for Cobra Kyle! What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pyle? Private Pyle, I'm gonna give you three seconds to wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you! One, two, three! Shazam! Cheers, Gomer, you son of a bitch. We love you. Oh, shit. I'm spilling water on my keyboard. Because the glass is wet. I gotta dry it with my hair. I gotta use it for something, you know. It absorbs some water. It doesn't really get wet. Like, I can jump in a swimming pool and come out and my hair is still all spongy. Ah. Alright, anyways, let's get into the celebrity ass. There's a lot of assholes this week. And, uh, you know, we're going to do some updates, too. Actually, some of these are all updates. Some of these are all updates, let's be honest. Um, But, fucking Justin Timberlake last week, we say he got arrested, DWI, because he got drunk at a hotel. 
and they only served him one cocktail. The bartender testified already. The police, they wrote a report. They only gave him one cocktail. But this guy was stealing drinks from everybody else and got fucking drunk and then drove away all happy and shit. Trying to skip out on the tab. And then they spring him back, you know? Uh, we already discussed it. We're not going to get into what happened. You wouldn't know what happened. Go back to the other video and shit. But what happened this week is that he finally went out and for the first time publicly addressed the situation in a concert that he did. And we have live footage. Here we go. Hopefully we don't get banned for this. Here we go. We've been together through ups and downs and lefts and rights. And uh, it's been a tough week. But you are here. And I'm here. I know sometimes I'm hard to love. But you keep on loving me. And I love you right back. Thank you so much. We love you, JT. We love you. Cheers. I love it. I love it. He's a good boy. He's a good man. He's a good boy. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I know why people want to be dicks and shit. I don't think he deserves it. Jonathan Majors, he meets a woman, gets away with it. This guy can swerve into another lane, drunk. Run a red light. He's going to get home fine. And then the first time he'd done it, you know, it's a setup. They're just trying to be, you know, Hollywood's really trying to crack down on white, blue eyed motherfuckers. They really are. And Jewish motherfuckers, too. They're cracking down on them, too. With this Palestinian shit, they have little watermelons. If you have a watermelons, you better watch out with those watermelons. You know, there's trouble going around. That's all I'm going to say. When I see somebody wearing that, I, I go the other way. I'm like, no, nah, fuck that. I'm not going to be part of these crazy assholes. Some bullshit's going to go down suddenly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some Antifa shit. No, fuck all that. I don't want to be part of some ass. I'm just trying to live my own life. You dicks. And fuck you. Fucking. Uh, this was a setup from the start. And I'll tell you why. All right, because I'm trying to get on the subject because I'm getting mad here because like, like I'm telling you, this, this, this is an innocent boy. And there's a reason why he's innocent. Right down there. The arresting officer re or whatever the fuck you say it and shit. The arresting officer and ass. This guy, this white, pale Hasn't seen the sun in day. He only comes out at dusk. Fucking vampire. Fucking six foot nine. Red Aryan. Son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking shows up and shit. And bust. Fucking Justin Timberlake. Fuck you. It's been a setup all this long. I'm telling you. And let me tell you why it's been a setup. Because he came out. That all the people around there. Have been complaining about this fucking guy. Officer Michael Arkinson is his name. Alright. And they're saying he's a dick. That he pulls people over for anything. Jaywalking and shit like that. And they've been calling him the Sag Harbor Nazi. Because this Jewish son of a bitch is Aryan. And he's over there claiming to be rights of I don't know what. Fuck you. That's what we say. Did the motherfucker that came after Justin Timberlake? It's been a setup this whole time, I'm saying. Justin Timberlake was innocent. This motherfucker, he's right there. Look at him. And he even has a little red there. It's fucking shit right there. Fuck you. He's, what is that Nazi shit? It's a, a, a double, triple S right there. Fucking dick. Motherfucker. Justin Timberlake is innocent. I'm putting my foot down. We've been together through ups and downs and lefts and rights. And, uh, it's been a tough week. And you're here. It's been a tough week for all of us. Cheers, Justin. We love you. And we love the fucking cunt, I think. Right? That is the cunt. Yes, the cunt. <laughs> they made him change his name. <laughs> We're still calling you the cunt, motherfucker. And I'm hitting it for you. 
might. You can feel it while smoking. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slop ready, because the cunt is here. Cheers, the cunt. Thank you for being here. We love you. Um, where was I? I don't remember. Let me look down at the keyboard here. Oh, yeah. The Nazi. Okay. We're transitioning from a Nazi to a woman beater who is currently making his comeback. Mr. Jonathan Majors, my friends. He received his grandiose award this past weekend and we have live footage for you of his honoration and shit and receiveness and and, and going up there and completely making an ass of himself crying like a pussy but here we go for you guys the recipient of the perseverance award yo Nathan Major. I know what to say first. First and foremost, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right. I reckon folks want to know about, you know, this last year, as a black man in the criminal justice system, Ooh. I felt anger, I felt sadness, hurt, surprise. When they snatched me up out of my apartment uh, in handcuffs, I didn't feel like all that. I didn't feel like John Majors, Mr. Creed, Mr. Kane. No, I felt like a... Can y'all hear me okay? Let me, let me speak up. I felt like, um, like a little scared, weak boy. Despite the support and the evidence that was in my favor, I knew she was bad. And it was bad because who I was and what I am. And this is what happens to black people all too often. Guilt by innocence often have little to do with the outcome. It's a harsh reality I learned, but I knew black men face this every day. We must persevere through injustice. Yeah. You hit her in the face. Yes. You hit her in the face. Yes. Twist her arm behind her back. Fracture her middle finger. Yeah. Fracture her middle finger. Yeah. How did those injuries come about? I wish to God I knew that, that would give me some type of peace about it. So, yeah, fucking Jonathan Majors got a fucking award for beating someone and persevering is what they call it. And shit. Can you believe this ass? This is one of the biggest ploys in Hollywood history. Let's try to publicly fucking fix his image for everybody and shit. God damn it. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing too. He goes up there and he cries. Motherfucker. What are you going to cry for in front of people? If you're embarrassed, you shouldn't even gone there to get the award, you dumbass. It certainly doesn't make you look any better. Yeah. You fucked up, dude. You should have never been going out with that little girl. You dumbass. That was the problem. The minute you know you get famous, get the check in the mail, you dump your spouse. Get the fuck out of here. I'm single for life. Ain't gonna be no alimony either, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I would say. Cheers. Fuck you, Jonathan Majors. And your stupid award. There's no Oscar, you dick. And you're never getting an Oscar. Because, because they'll ban your ass just like they ban Will Smith. 
All right, don't ban your ass. They'll figure it out. They say convicted, convicted. No fucking ban your ass. Fucking convicted felon. I mean, beater. No, he's not a felon. He's a convicted beater. It's all right. He's getting therapy. Went once, once a month for 15 minutes. Oh, I respect women. I respect women. All right, it's on the paper. Go home. We'll see you next month. Fucking guy gets away with it. Meanwhile, Ezra Miller fucking beats a woman in the head with a fucking chair, spits on somebody's face, jumps on somebody's back like a monkey, and kidnaps a fucking 17-year-old Native American little girl, and he goes cross-country with her in a fucking, uh, in a car with his mom, all drunk on cocaine and ecstasies and shit. And, uh, and, and he also serves no fucking <laughs> repercussions at all. So that's fucking Hollywood for everyone. God damn it. My name Miley talks. And homosexuality gives you a free pass. Cheers. That's why Jonathan Majors is taking the heat. Because he ain't gay. You fucked up, pussy. You should have said you were trans or something. Anyways, let's get into the big shit everyone saw. And quite frankly, everyone should be ashamed and feel embarrassed about. But the debate happened, my friends. And I knew I said this is going to be entertaining as fuck. I can't wait to see this. And it happened. It was even, cr it was crazy. It was more, it was better than what I imagined. I imagined craziness, but it was better. Uh, before I show you the, the clips, the main clips that I went and grabbed. Let me just say one thing. I am very surprised that CNN, the way they did the debate, the rules, and I think this is probably the best handled debate ever and non-biased. And, and I'll tell you why, because they muted the mics so motherfuckers couldn't interrupt and be fighting the way it always is. Like, God damn it. Like, answer the question. Stop interrupting and shit. They did that and they did it for both of them. They weren't being like only for Trump. They did it for Biden, too. They were muting them while the other motherfucker was talking. And then the crazy part is that then they would show screens like both of them at the same time and you would see the reactions. And, and it's like, and Biden looked pitiful and they wouldn't turn away. They kept, they kept, you know, they kept it for you so you could see the fucking difference between both of them. I was all like, this is actually perfect they're not being biased at all uh and the rules the rules were good it kept it under control and from spiraling out of control it just kept it it kept it good uh but let me show you the best clips and some of the stuff that made me laugh a lot i mean i laughed so hard here i was screaming up here just laughing my ass off <laughs> yeah and this is like god damn it this feels it felt like too good to be true like somebody fucking scripted this ass uh but here we go the the, the best moments that i that i i thought here we go 35 dollars which i was calling for one voluntarily i made sure every company in the world every pharmaceutical company cannot have to pay Thank you. and by the way child care elder care making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? He's right. He did beat Medicaid. He beat it to death. <laughs> the, the, the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump. 
Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look. And he told me, he said, I don't want to go in there because they're a bunch of losers and suckers. My son was not a loser, was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. Look, there's so many young women who have been, including a young woman who just was murdered. And he, he went to the funeral. Uh, the idea that she was murdered by, a, by, a, by an immigrant coming in. To, they talk about that. But here's the deal. There's a lot of young women who are being raped by their, by their in-laws, by their, by, by their spouses, brothers and sisters. By, oh, just, it's, it's just ridiculous. And they can do nothing about it. And they try to arrest them when they cross state lines. Thank you. It's an embarrassing day in the history of our country's life. It was, at the end of the day, exactly what Trump said there at the end. Embarrassing for the country. Oh my god. Embarrassing that the guy, the, it's just, there was a point during watching this that I started actually feeling pity. And feeling bad for Biden, for him to be even in that position, because it's like, this guy's freaking old, bros. He is freaking old. He's decaying up there in front of your eyes. He looked like a ghoul. A fucking lizard. Some scaly fucking vampire. His veins were blue and shit in his forehead. The fucking... Every time he looked at Trump, his mouth would just be open. He never closed his mouth. What the fuck? It was crazy. Um... <laughs> And Trump was on it. He was just picking up like it was almost like, you know, like fucking picking up jokes like he doing zingers. <laughs> oh, my God, bros. There was yeah, I should have gotten. Uh, I forgot to got this, but I did see that Biden said something that the Border Patrol had supported him. And at that very moment. The fucking Border Patrol posted on their fucking Twitter feed. To be clear, we've never supported, we've never, uh, we've never publicly supported Joe Biden. Because we never endorsed Joe Biden. And that's what the fucking Border Patrol posted on Twitter. And it is like, bird, motherfucker. At the moment you said it, they posted it. It's shit. Um, <laughs> but check it out. There is... The worst part about this, like I said, is the fact that it makes the country look horrible. I keep thinking about this. Trump's going to win. Look, if Trump doesn't win after this, and the next one's going to be even better. I can't wait for the next one. But if Trump just doesn't win after this, then uh, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. It is rigged. Because I don't see why anyone would want to vote for this old man. He's going to fucking die. And then they're going to let Kamala take over. That lady is so dumb, bro. That lady's really dumb. She's as dumb as he. And he's old. She's really young. You know, she's younger than Trump, I think. That bitch. But she's really stupid. I mean, she is really, really fucking stupid. All her speeches are the same. So if you think about... Rising above what came before. And it's always the same shit. You could go back and look it up. She says something like that in all her little fucking speeches. All her little shits. Like It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. You dumb bitch. You're a, a broken record is what you are. This old man, he doesn't even have a record. That's the problem. He's a little fucking automaton and shit. But. It got to the point. Where they were not even arguing about politics or their sons or the sleeping with prostitutes that came up. I should have grabbed that 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 shit. And sleep with a prostitute while your wife was pregnant, and then Trump smiles and goes, "Yeah, she was pregnant. Oh yeah, Tess! <laughs> That was badass. 
He paid her. He paid her. She accepted the payment. It was a legal transaction. It happened. People do it all the time. You fucking have money. You're rich and famous. You can pay for the porn stars. And they'll come over and you fuck them. And then they go back and film more porno pornographies for money. Like a real whore. Expensive whore. You gotta be rich like Trump if you want to fuck a, a fucking porn star. You dumbass. All right. Anyways, Joe Biden couldn't even fuck his wife right now at his age. You mean, think this old man, he, he gets his dick hard, he dies. It's too much blood pumping in his system. This lizard. Like Dracula over here, they bring him a baby every night so he can fucking suck the blood out of it and stay alive for another 50 years. Dick Cheney and shit. Anyways. They started fighting. About their golf swings. Listen to this. President Biden. You can see he is six foot five and only 223 pounds. Or 235 pounds. Well, you said six four, 200. Well, anyway, that's what you're... Anyway, just take a look at what he says he is and take a look at what he is. Look, I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. The reason I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. And, and but by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? That's the biggest lie that he's a six handicap of all. I was an eight handicap. Yeah. Eight. You see, Never. But I have, you know how many? How, I've what, seen you swing. I know you swing. Okay, let's let's, let's not act like children. President Trump, we're going to. Let's wrong. not act like children. <laughs> you know that little part CNN did it on purpose? Because CNN fucking turn, turned on Trump's mic so you could hear clearly what he was rebutting because yeah, it was on. they were all like what is this old man talking about golf let's it's like i don't know this is good turn on his mic let's see what trump says and they turned it on <laughs> but fucking right after the fucking uh, ele uh debate trump gets on social media and trump posts this meme fucking guy check this out <laughs> Fucking Trump, I'm a plane again, that's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking Joe Biden. I'll play I'll play a round of golf with you if you can carry your own bag. Can you do it? Fucking fuck you, Joe Biden. You think you're gonna carry your own golf bag? You'll fucking die. Uh, you couldn't even carry it, you pussy. You're talking about daring Trump. Trump could carry two on his back, motherfucker. Look at that guy. He's built like a fucking mule or a hog. A hog is more like it. He can carry two bags of fucking of clubs. This old man couldn't even carry one club and shit. <laughs> Oh my god. It was super embarrassing. Um, and there's tons of memes and everyone's making fun of this and everyone's saying we're fucked. There's on Reddit, there's homosexuals on, on suicide threads saying that they're that if Trump fucking, you know, wins, they're gonna commit suicide. And she, no, for real, this this is shit's going on. They're getting serious. And other celebrities again. I'm gonna leave the country. Well, I'm gonna get ready to leave, motherfuckers. You probably pay less taxes. I don't even know why you're even here. If I was rich as fuck, I would not live in America, you dumbasses. We'd be living over there somewhere in the fucking Philippines and shit. Over there in the Easterns and shit. You know what I'm saying? Where the weather's perfect all year long. None of this 102 degree fucking weather and ass. We gotta go through a dick. Shitty winters where there's ice. Fucking people dying and shit. Fuck you. No electricity for two weeks. Yes. Hot water either. Dicks. Anyways. It was embarrassing. Uh, but before we stop talking about this, I gotta do one last meme. And this is somebody. Uh, this is my favorite meme that I found. And this is somebody that put... um. The fucking Gollum. I think it's the Gollum. 
a filter while they were filming. And check this shit out. It's hilarious. Families and Hispanic families and just about everybody is killing people. They can't buy groceries anymore. They can't. You look at the cost of food where it's doubled and tripled and quadrupled. They can't live. They're not living anymore. He caused this inflation. I gave him a country with no, essentially no. You know, I want to play that again because listen to what Trump is actually saying. And it is fucking true, bros families and hispanic families and just about everybody is killing people they can't buy groceries anymore they can't you look at the cost of food where it's doubled and tripled and quadrupled they can't live they're not living anymore he caused this inflation i gave him a country with no essentially no and um and biden was making these weird fucking faces like his mouth was always opened it was so fucking weird, man. He looked like a ghoul up there and shit. Uh, I think this is embarrassing to all of us. But I don't see how. And actually, I don't understand why the Democrats are going to continue with him. Because they said they said today they're gonna continue and he's gonna he's gonna continue and he's gonna do the next debate in September. Uh, they're gonna give him more drugs and B12s. I thought that maybe he had an earpiece, and the person who was telling him was doing it too fast, and this guy's all like, and and uh, them. I thought maybe that's what was happening. But then again, I mean, he's he's old. He's dirt old. Trump is old too, man. Trump is fucking old. That ain't even his hair. Bald. Trump is fucking bald as fuck. That ain't even his hair. Uh, but I don't see how Trump cannot win this time around. Unless the Democrats change their mind. But if this is the way it is, this is the ballot. I don't see how fucking Trump is going to fucking not win. Uh, unless they cheat. It's rigged. It was rigged. Yeah, yeah. Unless that happens. That'll be that'll be it. Um, even Anderson Cooper was asking, should Joe step down? Fucking Trump hating Anderson Cooper, woke as fuck, was asked, is it time for, for, for fucking to be replaced? This fucking guy. Get RFK? Imagine. Nah, but that motherfucker better not associate himself with the Democrats, that piece of shit. Uh, anyways, I am done talking about this fucking... Uh, circus, an embarrassment to the country that I don't think I ever respected. Fucking politicians, that's where the problem is. That's where the fucking problem is. The goddamn politicians, let it be known. What the hell does a politician know about fucking uh, 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 agriculture or economics or fucking uh, fucking relay foreign relations and shit and a half? And even the people they put underneath to be in charge of those things are nothing but their f wealthy friends who went to college and don't know shit about that either. And ass. And that's why everything's run poorly. All right. You could literally take a handful of people, a fucking, I don't know, a, a doctor and take a, a, a fucking an architect and take a fucking uh, mathematician and a scientist and some fucking guy from the high school and shit and they'll run the country better than any of these assholes have ever run it that's the problem is we're voting for politicians you dumbasses what the fuck does a politician know about fixing the world or the country or any problems they don't know shit all they know is that they went to college and their big ass fucking fancy degrees and all they learn is how to talk in public and lie to people out loud and convince you it's shit. 
It's like a special little talent they learned in ass. Fuck you, politicians. We don't need you running stuff for us. Until we get rid of the politicians, that nothing's ever going to change. And that's my philosophy on that. Cheers. That's it with the pop culture breakdown. Let's get into uh, the weekly comic book nerd shit. And apparently this past week, they screened to a select few nerds who probably suck some dick or paid some money or their moms or some ass works there or lick somebody's dick. Something like that. But they got to see the Mortal Kombat 2 movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of Rain and Roach. Ah. Get ready for this. They say this whole movie is about Johnny Cage, which is Carl Urban over here, and about Katana, which is the little, little Asian girl that I don't know who the fuck she is and shit. And that that's what the whole movie is, that all the characters are basically sidelined and there's no development and no backstories and nothing. They're just there and they fight and they kill each other and shit. They say there's a lot of gore, a lot of deaths, a lot of fighting, and ass. Uh, but this whole movie is basically of them. So good, because I was fucking disappointed that the last movie was all about uh, Cole Young, a made-up new character that made no fucking sense and shit. Uh, but luckily, it should have been Johnny Cage from the start. Uh, but luckily, Johnny Cage's finally here. We get the story rolling to the first tournament. And fuck Cole Young. Cole Young better die within the first fucking five minutes the way Johnny Cage died in the beginning of the movie and fucking the second movie. That sucked ass. Annihilation. Hopefully something like that happens. Hopefully. I don't know. I mean, I'm not in charge of this ass. Someone else is. And the last one was, eh, it was not bad. There was a lot of gore. I didn't like the kind of story, the, the beats to it. Cole, like I said, Cole Young, whatever the fuck this half Asian, half American, half Filipino, half motherfucking white motherfucker, uh, his name is. Um, yeah, I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't digging it. I just wasn't, you know. I don't care if he really does know MMA and how to fight and all this asshole. None of these motherfuckers. I don't care about none of them. What matters to me is, does it? It is. Is it faithful to it? And the last one was it faithful? Inserting your new character. Fuck you, Gardner. I think that's his name, Todd Gardner. We'll see what the second one takes us. But already, I can tell you, it's off to a bad star. Because this movie's about a lot of characters, and you're gonna focus only on these two assholes. It's really fucking it up. They did show this week the fucking Nosfuratu trailer with Lily Rose Depp, Johnny's Depp daughter, for that model for French that he fucked. Um. Willem Dafoe and, and, and Nicholas Holt, Lex Luthor and the Beast and shit. Uh, and, and Bill Skarsgård as the Count. But they only show him like once or twice. And I think, I think that was what, what's his fucking name? And this fucking son of a bitch, this, uh, oh, what's his name, man? I, I, I'm trying to think. Isn't it this guy, Andrew Taylor Johnson? It looks like him. I can, I'm not going to say that's him, but I'm telling you, that looks a lot like my fucking Craven the Hunter, the new fucking Andrew Taylor Johnson or whatever. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah, yeah. What's his name? Quicksilver in the MCU. It looks like him. All these motherfuckers are in this fucking movie. This movie's going to be sick. 
It looks gothic and disgusting. Look, that guy bit the fucking pigeon. The head. Shit. It is him. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Gomer. Look at, look at, dude, that guy was jerking off and everyone was watching him. That was badass. Fire. Look at that lady. Nah, she didn't have any tits, but that was kind of cool. The whole act of it is kind of cool. And there he is. Oh, they didn't show him. Sons of bitches. This is going to be good. It better be an American. Because there's no way in hell I'm going to go see some bullshit. I got to be reading what they're saying. Fuck you. You better be talking in a Los Angeles fucking uh, SoCal fucking accent too. And shit. That's all I'm saying. Like Melanie Mack. Without the racism and Christianity. Uh, fucking ev evangelism. Uh, uh, you know. Craziness or whatever. I don't know what it's called. All right? she, just, she believes in shit that others don't like. Alright. I don't know. Frankly, I don't give an ass. So, you know, as long as somebody's gonna give some ass, that's all that really matters, right? An ass for an ass. Oh yeah. Cheers, Mighty Mac. Alright, we're moving on from this fucking bullshit. And we're gonna move on to some quick reviews. Starting out with the motherfucking House of the Dragons. Yes. Episode two. Uh, which continues to be lame. Uh, but it's progressing. I think uh, we're going to start seeing more fighting so the dragon soon. Uh, Damon leaves. With, you know, he gets exiled because Rhaenyra. Oh my god, this lady's so good at her character. I love Rhaenyra. She's, she's, oh, she's just like my Khaleesi's. I love my Khaleesi's. I love Rhaenyra. She's so fucking badass. Um, and this guy's good too. I like, I hate him, but I like his, his, this, his, this actor. This is fucking the lizard from Spider-Man. This is Ryan Reefies or whatever the fuck his name is. Um, and then the whole story is about these two knights, Sir Eric and Sir Eric. One with an A and one with an E. Eric and Eric. And they were both fucking knights for the, one of the other queens. And they sent him to sneak in there because they're gonna say, "Well, they're not gonna. They're gonna think it's the other dude. They'll let you right in and go in there and then fucking slay her." And so they had to fight each other. And the fucking the one and you don't know who it was who killed the who was the one the winner because the other guy felt so bad he killed himself. And then in the beginning they show the baby's head, fucking not stapled but you know stitched up let me show you that shit that's crazy because they you know what pissed me off is that they didn't show in the last episode they didn't show none of them cutting the baby's head off they're very disappointed in that i mean it is game of thrones we just kind of saw as she ran away we saw the guy go like that but that's it and then she the camera followed her so you didn't see nothing and then they show us this fucking little horrific puppet. I don't know. Whoever the fuck made this must have had nightmares. Or he's one sick son of a bitch who needs to be locked up before he murders somebody and does some crazy shit in his fucking basement. Naked on it by himself. With a finger in his ass. Oh my god. That's so fucked up. Anyways, yes, yeah, they showed this to, to the, probably the only fucking fucked up shit they shit they showed. The sex scene's not even worth me showing you because it was just lame. It was like dry humping over clothes. Um, the story's progressing. They did show two more characters in this, and the two other characters were are gonna be dragon riders, and they're like bastard childs of the Targaryens because. Damon probably fucked people or or Jaharis. Uh but there's there's other motherfuckers they're gonna get to write the dragons to be on uh to be on Rhaenyra's side. Rhaenyra's gonna have a lot of dragons and dragon riders because they're all gonna fucking die and shit. Everybody in this fucking show is gonna die, I promise you. They're just a, a little boy 
the youngest from Rhaenyra. I think it's Aegon the Third. He he's they they showed him, but he's just a little baby. He's like a toddler. And the the youngest girl from the other side, the one that that she grabbed while they cut this other kid's head off and she took away, they marry them and that's how it ends because they end the war. Everyone else dies. They don't know what to do. How do how do we restore the kingdom after everyone's dead and there's no one in charge? And he goes, Well, we can marry them both. They're technically the same lineage, it's just they're fucking being dicks, and it's a civil war between the families. And they killed all the dragons off. The idiots. They had all the dragons and all the power in the fucking land. And they ruined it. These idiots. Oh my god. It's good. It's good. Uh, it's no Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is so ten times better than this ass. Uh, but it's it's a good story. It might get better. I don't know. We'll see how this is going to be a slow build. It's kind of making me worry. They're going to make a lot of seasons, which is going to be really slow. and It's going to take forever. I might die. I literally, literally might die before they even finish the goddamn series. George R. R. Martin doesn't. By that time, George, I'm going to die. George R. R. Martin's never going to finish that fucking book. Anyways, we're moving on from this ass. Just guess what? The boys. Episode five <laughs> is the boys. Episode five. I'm showing you the fucking worst parts. Oh my god. <laughs> Not the worst parts, but the most craziest, gory parts. I love this fucking show, bros. Um, they go looking for a virus, and the virus that they were creating. In a lab that was going to kill, make make superhumans sick so that they could die. It infects them and then they get sick and die. But they were testing it on animals. And they had testing it on hamsters. So to test it on a hamster, you have to turn the hamster into a super hamster. And then you have to infect it with the virus to see if it kills it. But when you turn a hamster into a super hamster, the hamster has superpowers and it escapes. And when it escaped, the hamster knocked all the fucking medicine or whatever, the thing that turned it into a super, into the water. And all the animals drank it. And the animals killed everybody and they're loose. And it's crazy. And then Huey's father wakes up and he has the powers that Huey used to have where he's basically phasing into stuff. Oh, no, he, no, because Huey would teleport. He's just phasing through stuff. And it's kind of sad because they decide to just euthanize Huey's father. And Huey's father kind of agrees. Um, and they give him a bunch of drugs and, and, and he goes to sleep and he dies. It's crazy. And as far as the sheep and all these animals, the sheep are the ones that are kill everything. Um... They find a dead body and they only have one last fucking canister of the virus. Because everything got destroyed. So, unfortunately, because there's all these sheep that are going to just kill them. They, they inject it into one of the dead bodies and then throw it outside and the sheep eat it. And then the sheep die. And they all get out of there. And the scientists that made the fucking... Uh, compound the, the virus is not found, and the only thing they found from him is his leg. And so, said the sheep, the sheep ate him, and so the, the whatever. But at the end, you find out that Butcher Butcher cut off his leg and then took him away. So, him and his friend are gonna hold that guy captive and tell him, You better, you're gonna make more of the virus for us, motherfucker. And I was like, Ah, oh, fucking Butcher's crazy. I don't know if that's like the, 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 the shit inside of him that's making him go crazy, but. Yeah, yeah, he's doing crazy shit. Frenchie goes and he turns himself in to the fucking police that he's a murderer. That he's done murders and he's raping homosexuals and shit and then killing them. I, don't know, I might be making that up, but, you know, it's something like that. 
They didn't uh, progress. What's her name? Makiko's? Mak Makos? Uh, I don't know. The little Asian girl. They didn't fucking progress her story in this one. And the other little girl who, who got an abortion. I don't know. They're just talking a lot about God in this one and shit. Uh, so it was a little weird. Uh, but I, I, it was, you know, the voice is good, bro. You can, if you haven't watched it, you have to watch it from the beginning because if you watch it, you don't understand what's going on. It's too far into it. The season four, there's one more season and it's going to end. They're going to end the next season. It's getting really fucking crazy. Um, but yeah, this episode was badass. That's all I'm going to say. It's, it, it's not, I don't think this is the best one. Um, damn, but this one's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, go watch it. All right. I want to get the good stuff out of the way because unfortunately we do have a lot. And I mean a lot. Of ass. And it's none other than Mr. James fucking Gunn. On the set. Of his Superman movie. Over there wearing his little heart. With his blue shirt. And his, and his fucking black little jacket. And his shoes. And his white hair. Spiky white hair. And his glasses. This motherfucking Steve Job wannabe motherfucker. Telling people what to do. Telling that guy. You see that fucking rock? I want you to move it six feet to the left. And it better look good, pussy. James Gunn looking at that guy in the gray shirt. Who the fuck let this pansy in the fucking set? Get him the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. Look at him. He's going on a power trip. Son of a bitch. Well, we got set photos from this day. Mr. Jimmy Gunn, it's not all just about you, you fucking guy. All right, this is about what monstrosities you're about to bring on to the fucking sc big screen, you dumbass. Here we go. There's a set, a huge set piece in the middle of what's supposed to be, I guess, Metropolis or whatever the fuck. And it comes out and uh, it looks like there's a stairway. And there's a lot of, like, people in military and people in black. Now, I don't know if the people... I was thinking that maybe the people in black are extras or 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 they're like helpers that move stuff in between cutscenes. They move, they move sets or move stuff and shit. So they might not actually be part of it, uh, is what I was thinking. But... I'm going to play you a video of what was filmed from this part. So people are walking out of this blue block, which is obviously all CGI. Who knows what the fuck it's going to be. And they're walking down a stairway and all the cops and military are telling the people to come out of it. So it's probably some kind of spaceship. And this is... 100% the end of the movie. Like, oh, we just saved everybody. Open it, let them out, come out, you're free now. And they're all coming out like a bunch of idiots. You see them? That's what's happening. They're filming the end of the movie. That's what they were doing. I. That's my guess. Uh, there's more stuff. That came out of Mr. Jane's gun. Think he's better than everybody. Fuck you. We saw all the cast that's supposed to be in the Daily Bugle and ass coming out of some sort of fucking spaceship. And this spaceship is like egg shaped or round. And or cylinder, I don't know, but if you see over here some of the parts before the when they were bringing it out because it was a box at first, it has a T shape. So, this is Mr. Terrific's fucking ship, and I'm telling you, this is at the end of the movie. And you see 
like I said, Perry Wilson and fucking Lewis Lane coming out of this fucking spaceship. And just like you saw all of them. So everyone from the Daily Bugle at the end of the movie is going to come out of Mr. Terrific's fucking spaceship after they've been saved. Hey, who's this chick with the big titties? The blonde? Holy fuck. Is that the character that Grace Randolph was supposed to play? <laughs> no, I don't know who the fuck that is, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I guess that's what's happening here. Uh, interesting. There's also the first image of Clark Kent running through the crowd like a fucking eight foot tall ginormous giant hey, look everyone's miniature compared to this guy we're supposed to believe he's weak and powerless a lot of people have been complaining about his fuzzy curly hair over here in the top that pretty much all these white kids have nowadays this is a style nowadays to be honest everyone's doing this everyone all the kids but you know what? I mean, I had hair like that growing up, you know. Eventually, I stopped cutting it and it got long. And then I got all these motherfuckers here and shit. You know what it is? Uh, they're caught in my earrings. You see, there's, there's, it comes with a prize. It comes with a prize. It gets stuck all the time. Sometimes in your food, your ass, when you're taking a shit. I don't know. You gotta be careful with that kind of stuff. You get used to it. You know what to do. You figure it out. You figure it out. Anyways... So yeah, this is not bad because this makes more sense. Why in the other ones, Superman and Clark Kent literally look exactly the same and the only difference was the fucking glasses. It don't make no sense. Everybody knows that's him. At least this, the hair adds more to the covertism or the costume and shit that you start understanding that maybe this could not be Superman. It's just a guy who's just big enough to be Superman, but no. He's not him. So this is a little bit better, I think. This is a better look for Clark Kent. It's a little bit more grounded as far as it makes more sense. Mr. Jimmy Gunn, I'm giving you some pointers or some points to you. Not giving you pointers. You dick. I should give you pointers on how to run this fucking dick. Uh, but it's all right. It's all right. Um, yeah, I like this. I'm not going to lie. Here we go. Start complaining after this. Superman was seen on the set, finally, in all his glory, in broad daylight, in his light sky blue, very rubbery looking, very latex, or very, no, not latex, but rubbery, and very, like, texture, I don't know, he's got, like, textured armor things, but, oh my god, I don't even know what to say. I mean, he has a very big cock, for sure. Uh, I would like to see him and Mr. Dwayne, the big cock Johnson, in the Black Adam, next to each other. We can compare whose cock is bigger. Uh, but then, they, those, those, they, you know... Pretty big cock right there with those fucking pants they made him wear and shit. Um, ah, there's only one way to settle this. It's time to compare. Snyder versus Gun. Who are it better? Uh, I don't know. The guy in the red still has the bigger cock to me. The other guy looks like he's wearing a cup. And fake abs. But, I'm going to say one thing, man. The Cavill suit looks tight. And if you look over here at fucking James Gunn's suit, it's super loose. And you see all the rubbery creases. Like right there where he bends, right there, you see the creases. In his stomach right there, and it's on his chest, it's bending all like that. And um, 
and up here too i mean i don't know i don't i, I want to see what it looks like in the trailer because god damn it it's a good design but i'm seeing this and i'm not liking it it looks it does look really loose it looks like not even rubbery it looks like foamy James Gunn being foamy and shit. Fucking gun. But one thing that cat came out of the bag finally. Since we saw the spaceship, there he is. Mr. Terrific in the background. And this guy looks fucking bad ass. He looks exactly like the comic book the one they have right now it's fucking perfect down to the jacket to the mask the haircut this is probably the best design i've ever seen translated from comic book to live action jimmy gunn you son of a bitch that's two tonight that you're getting, you fucking dick. Wow. Unfortunately, there was some trolls that didn't enjoy this look. And they had to put in their two cents. It was none other than Grace Randolph herself. Let me show you. She hates James Gunn as much as I do. But she has more pull in the industry. So she came out and said this dumbass. Here we go. All right, so as for the hair, it's a little retro. I agree with CM. It's a little 70s, a little 60s. It's a little a little, little black power, a little political in my opinion. I don't know if I would have injected that into the character. Uh, I think I would have just focused on making the character as sexy and cool as possible. And he ah, this little girl knows nothing about comic books. He looks too political. Why? Because he has a fro. That's the what the look. What? That's the way he looks. That's the fucking modern day fucking uh, black power. What? Because why? Because he has a black leather jacket. It has a T on it. Mr. T. Like, she's fucking crazy, bro. What a troll. I, I know she hates gun and I was sometimes I wonder I'm all like is she trolling like she doing this on purpose just fucking trolling guns bullshit. There was a rumor that she was going to be in the fucking movie. Some kind of reporter. It was like internet gossip and shit. They were going to put her in there. Uh, that'd be fucking hilarious if they did that. But no, I think they, they genuinely don't like her and, and she doesn't like James Gunn anymore because he's fucking shut her down on fucking shamed her on Twitter back then when it was Twitter. It's X now, but it wasn't X when that happened. It was Twitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. Review bombing racist toxic basement dwellers. Ah, <laughs> Grace. Oh my God. Fucking Grace twitches a lot in the morning with all her coffee and ass. And you know what? As fucking, as long as she's been doing this and there's probably as much money as she makes, you think she would have gotten a better fucking webcam by now. God damn it. Anyways. I like this design. And when I saw the pictures of this guy right next to fucking Superman, I was like... This looks badass. This is like seeing a comic book come to life. That's exactly what it looks like. And it's not even on screen yet. Fuck you, James Gunn. That's three I've given you, you fucking dick. <laughs> Fuck you. I hate you. Uh, I can't believe it. It looks like it looks perfect.
And it's crazy because this is like somebody's phone camera or wherever the fuck shot this, but it's not professional shit equipment. And to me, it looks so fucking badass. And I want to see it on screen. That's going to be my final decision, but I, I, I'm fucking James Gunn. Fuck you, Gunn. You're going to fuck it up. I can't wait to see it fail. Anyways, yeah, I bet you the story, that's where it's going to fail. The son of a bitch makes everything look pretty. And then you go over there and you, it's a pretty piece of shit that smells and tastes disgusting. We'll find out soon enough. Uh, but we got video of fucking Mr. Terrific running down the street with a device and he's tracking something and he goes to a dog store a pet store and he goes up to the mirror and they don't show this here or they might I don't know if they do but he goes to the mirror and he goes like that talking to the mirror and then what happens? They don't show it. They bring out some tarp or some ass. But there's a there's supposed to be a dog on the other side. And it jumps out of the fucking thing and breaks through the glass. And then he's chasing it down the street, giving treats to it. And trying to make it jump and fly and shit. And the thing's not listening to him. And he gets pissed off and then he just screams because he's like, he feels like a dumbass. So, yes, Crypto the dog is going to be in it. And what is so lame about it, this is why I'm telling you, James Gunn disappoints. You're going to be another CGI ass and it's a dog, a real fucking dog, and you're going to CGI it? The fuck? Couldn't you get a real dog? Unless he's gonna talk. He's gonna be talking. My god. Uh, so yeah, Mr. Terrific apparently might be like one of these funny characters now. You know, where he does silly stuff with other characters. Yo, know, here you go, I'm a sidekick. Oh, I go fetch the dog. I lost him. Oh, I'll find him for you. I don't know how to teach this dog to fly. No! Yeah, fuck you. He went from being a badass to being reduced to going to finding the dog. Go walk the dog for me. Uh, but Superman, go do it or I'll fucking laser beam your brain out of your head. Yes, sir. That's Homelander right there, motherfuckers. You have to watch the boys. It's badass. Yeah. Anyways. Um, Crypto the Super Dog, James Gunn, fuck you. Apparently, Superman gets arrested by Rick Flag, who is Crossbones in the MCU, whatever this guy names is, whatever, whatever, I don't remember his name is. And, uh, and then this little girl, this fucking uh, Peruvian, Mexican girl, Puerto Rican. Oh, no, she's kind of sexy. Um, she's the engineer. But then we see this fucking guy who's bigger than fucking Superman, by the way. And he's all covered in black and even his head with goggles. And he has a U on his chest. Everyone has been asking who the fuck is that? And the most intelligent nerd could know, not know what the fuck James Gunn is doing. And so the leakers are 100% saying that this is Ultraman. This is a clone of Superman that Lex Luthor makes. And that that's what's underneath that thing. There are people on the internet that are saying the leakers are wrong. This is obviously this character named Ulysses. Or Ulysses. His, his real name is Neil Quinn. And he's 
some fucking guy who as a baby got taken to another dimension and grew up and then he came back with powers and he can beat the shit out of Superman as you can see the picture there it's shit uh but that's basically what he is he's a uh, Ulysses it's shit and they're saying that's Ulysses because look at the U that he has it makes more sense that that's the guy that's underneath the mask. It's this fucking Ulysses. I don't know what James Gunn is doing. This is already this is what I'm telling you. This is where where you start realizing it's gonna be ass when you start really seeing more than oh it looks pretty. It's a, it's a nice fucking piece of shit wrapped up all nice with a bow and shit with a little piece of fucking a celery there on the on the a cilantro there on the side to make it look pretty and shit. Fuck you. Um, but I'll tell you one thing. This reminds me of Doomsday when he had the containment suit on. Before he came out of it. And in the picture when he's getting arrested, you can see that he is fucking larger than fucking uh, Superman. And Doomsday would be bigger than Superman. But then I was also thinking, what if he's bizarro? Like, because it's somebody. It's going to be somebody underneath the mask when they take it off. And I'm like, what if it's bizarro? And shit, too. It's a clone of Superman. It could be bizarro under there. But then he would be an idiot. So, no, it, it wouldn't be bizarro. Maybe the leakers are right. It's a clone of Superman. He's just bigger and beefier. Oh, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> all right, all right. Anyways, let's keep it going. We did get a fucking first look of Lex Luthor arriving at the fucking set with, like, herpes... Or something on his face and then on his head and shit. You could see the stretchy lines from the bald cap he's wearing behind his ear. Uh, but it's still pretty good that he's wearing a bald cap. I thought he would have committed and shaved his head. Uh, but, you know, I guess the prosthetics also, they needed to fucking put those weird things on him. So they put a bald cap on him. Yeah. Oh shit, Anthony Timmons is here! <laughs> Cheers, Anthony Timmons! Yo, motherfucker. Thank you for being here Friday night, keeping it real. You know what it is every day of the week. Cheers. All right. Let's keep this party going. It's a lot of fucking ass to, to go over. And uh, it's actually the end of the ass. Uh, and we'll we'll end it with the biggest end of it. Almost the biggest. The worst of it. Because then I'll give you something good at the end. A good spoiler at the end. But let's get into this week's episode. Of the lesbian. And it was called uh, Night. Because the last one was called Day. And this one's called Night. Fucking gay is what it should have been called. And this one should have been called Dyke. That's what it should have been called. Anyways, I, look, as, as, because I've been trashing all this, has been ass. Shitty writing, shit with no explanations, stuff like that. That made no sense. Just let me make up my own lore that just disrupts everything that's ever been. Type of shit. Uh, but from all the episodes, I think this is the fucking most, the most watchable one. Because there's a lot of action and a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I will give it up for the choreograph. In this, this fights for badass. But there's a thing that 
It is very decisive between the fans. And I'll try to re because it's very like it's very subtle and it's fast. And let me see if I can find it so you can see it. It's before he kills this little girl. Uh, right around here. There. So what he does is he puts out a lightsaber with his helmet. And he also has this wristband that's all metal. And he also uses it as a shield guard and he puts out their lightsabers. And, and, and it takes a little bit, but the lightsaber comes back on. But at first they're all like, what the fuck? They, they're flickering with it, turning, trying to turn it on and off. And it's just like sparking. And then they, they're, that's something that was created recently in the comic books, maybe like. 10 years ago how oh, has 10 years has gone by god damn when marvel obtained star wars and they started doing the comic books um they made a you know that, that this metal that deflects or you know whatever this stabilizes a light the the lightsaber or whatever it's called and so but the thing is they're probably never going to explain it because they're idiots. This, the people who are writing this show, they're not going to explain it. Um, yeah, only a nerd like me who knows because I have those comic books. The, when, they, when those comic books came, Marvel started making the first ones. I, I have them. I have a few. You can see a few of them here. There, there's some more over here. But I have, I have those. So I know what, what they're doing. But they're not even going to explain it. I promise you I'm, I'm giving you the explanation as to why it's even possible but it's something that's fairly new it's not something that was known back then but i guess they're bringing in their new canon into this so obviously as you can see the master or the evil sith lord is the ezra miller character like i told you it was gonna be and no explanation as to who he is or how he learned his powers. He just says that he just, he, whatever, he's a Sith. He says, I'm not a Sith. I'm like, I'm the closest thing is what you call a Sith. And he's like, I just want to be free. I want to use the force however the fuck I want to. And, uh, and he has red light. But see, like, it's like, who taught him? And no explanations. Like, and it's sad because they've already said that. That's a mystery that was not going to be touched on. The, the This first season is about the little black girls, the, the twins. And so he's insignificant as far as they're not going to delve into his past and more about who or what he is. This is as far as we're getting from him, which is sad because that means they're going to kill him off. Um, but here's what bothers me about all this is that... They obviously wanted to set up more of the mystery of who this guy is in season two or where he came from and shit. And there ain't going to be no season two, motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows about it. But I'll say another thing about this is one of the stupidest things. That I saw. I have it here too. Where is it? The you know the one the, the twin gets mad and knock knocks out May or Osha or whatever. I don't, I don't know which is which. The bad one knocks out the good one. And the bad one decides to switch her place. And what she does is she cuts her hair off because she has long hair with a lightsaber. And that's fucking scary to do because you're gonna pass yourself like that. I'm like, fuck that, I ain't gonna die. But it doesn't make any sense because the bad girl literally has a white tattoo on her forehead that is visible and the other one doesn't. So it makes no fucking sense about let me switch places when I have a face tattoo, a forehead tattoo, a white forehead tattoo. Ah. Uh. By the way, that Sith Lord, 
the the Sith Lord fucking murders every character. And it, I I I was actually fucking rooting. I was like, this is badass. All the characters that pissed me off since Episode One, all these woke fucking homosexual, non-binaries, little lesbians, and all these fucking characters that are just fucking the epitome of woke bullshit that Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Hepburn or whatever the fuck this dumb bitch's name is uh, made this ass. Those characters all got massacred by this fucking Sith and I was all like fuck yes. In pretty fucking crazy ways too. He stabbed her. He just turned it on three times. Boom boom boom. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. He snapped the other guys, the other fucking, the guy with the hair, the, the, the side hair like that, the fucking typical fucking dreadlocks with the side hair like that, the fucking woke as fuck guy. That guy fucking snapped his neck. I was all like, fuck yeah, kill them all, the motherfuckers. The little girl with the horns too, the little lesbian got killed. They all did, they all got murdered. I was waiting for this Asian motherfucker to get killed, but he got away. I got a feeling he's going to die later. Um, this is still a really bad series. No explanations for shit, you know. So now, it, like another thing is like if she was the bad guy last episode, she was going to turn herself into the Jedi. And now she's like, well, let me knock my sister out and take her place instead. But then it's crazy because the master, this Jedi, this fucking Sith Lord or whatever this Ezra Miller guy is, he finds the the good the, you know the one who was knocked out at the end and he decides to take her and that's crazy because th is he gonna turn her instead of the bad one and the other one's gonna go into the jedi and become good and it's just crazy uh but it's just there's trading places is what's going on we're in episode five of this ass is it, i think it's episode five or episode four i don't know Either way, this is going nowhere because they said that, unfortunately, they leave it open at the end, which there's not going to be a season two. This stink fest was fucking uh, over $200 million, bros. But this has been the only good episode and just because this guy murders all of these motherfuckers that you hated for the past four episodes. I hate all these characters. They pissed me off every time they talked. I just wanted to, This is what I wanted. Just fucking chop their heads off. Stab them. Everything. And this Ezra Miller did it. The little Asian Ezra Miller killed them all. Uh, so the helmet that he wears, I thought it was black. It's actually copper. Now that the sun comes out, you start realizing it. It's like copper. It's just dark. It's in the. It looks black in the darkness. Uh, but yeah, it's that metal. It's that metal that I'm telling you. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's it's from the comic books. Anyways, enough of this Star Wars bullshit. Because at the end of the day, this still sucks ass, and we probably have like three or four more episodes. No, three more episodes. I think. I hope. I hope. I pray. God damn it. I'm watching too much shit nowadays. I saw A Quiet Place. I didn't want to review it because I wasn't really paying attention and the quality sucked ass. So, but I saw A Quiet Place. It's, um, it's exactly what you think it would be, you know. It's not bad. It's good, but it's, you know, it's like, it's going to be a movie where people are getting chased by these things and they have to be silent. I mean, that's what it is. Uh, it's fucking, it's, it's cool. It's badass. You know, it's, it's, uh, Lupita Nyong'o is fucking badass at acting. And that other, this new guy, this fucking homosexual, what's his name? He's going to be the human torch. Joseph Quinn. He's in the Stranger Things. He died. Eddie Munson or whatever. He's playing guitar. Master of Puppets or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Seek and Destroy. I don't know what he was playing. No, I think it was Master of Puppets. Anyways, let's end this with the end of something good that's coming and going to be coming in the billions finally to Disney 
Marvel and Kevin Feige in the bank. After five years, they will finally make a billion dollars with these characters. This is the supposed La Resistance, La Resistance team for Deadpool and Wolverine. In the Wasteland, this is the team that Deadpool and Wolverine will fight with. Along with all the stupid variants of Deadpool, the little baby, the kid, the floating head. Uh, yeah, yeah, th those. And the stupid, disgusting little Chihuahua. These characters and these actors will be here. Chad and Tatum's Gambit. Uh, J Jen Gardner. Is it Gardner? Yeah, Gardner. Of uh, fucking Electra, Wesley Snipes, Blade, Chris Evans, Human Torch, and uh, Daphne Keen as X23. And I 100% believe this is probably true. I really do think this is what we're gonna see. This is badass. This is like the multiversal Avengers. Right here, you know, this is the multiversal Avengers. That's crazy because everybody's from different realities and shit. It's perfect. And they're going to fight Cassandra Nova. Oh man, I am really excited for fucking Deadpool. Damn, it's we're so close to it next month, y'all motherfuckers. I really, really, really hope that they don't fuck it up. It looks promising. Very, very promising. Oh my god, Gambit. Chat and Tatum's been waiting forever to be Gambit. He better nail this accent for this one cameo he's doing. And it's more than a cameo because he's going to be part of it. And if you notice, the movie's not showing us much. There's a new clip that they just showed. I can't show it to you because we'll get banned right away. But it's fucking Wolverine about to fight Sabretooth. It's badass. And Deadpool's being a fucking dumbass about, about shit. Uh, but it's fucking... It's the only movie that I am literally genuinely excited about when it comes to Marvel and the MCU. I, everything has been trash except for Spider-Man movies, but I'm not really hopeful about the next ones. I had to see a trailer. Uh, but because John Watts is, John Watts is good. Uh, I'm telling you, and he left. And, uh, and this is, um, this is not John Watts. This is fucking Sean Levy. And I think he's, it looks like he did a fucking good job, bros. I'm excited for this billion dollar franchise. Ryan Reynolds, you fucking genius. You're going to get a big cut from this. You dumbass. Well, no, nah, not a dumbass. You genius. That's what I meant. Anyways, um, that's it for the comic book nerd shit. And actually, that's it for me ranting for the night, you motherfuckers. I'm gonna fucking come out with a fucking life advice for you to take home. And you better listen to this, because this is important, you motherfuckers. You don't leave until I tell you this. And shit. This is important. You're gonna, the life lesson you learn. Son of man advice, take home for the evening. Motherfuckers. These are tre tre trebulous times, all right? We saw the debate. The state of the country. Our lives are in the hands of fucking morons. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're, this is just horrible the end of, t the end of days. And the only way we're going to get through this is if we all stick together. Divide it. We fall. Together we stand. Alright. I'm telling you. We gotta stick together. Come together. 
love one another, respect each other, and uh, and don't rape or or murder people, or else you should get like I don't know, you should get killed. Yeah, get stoned in the middle. Of, everybody throws a rock at you and you die. Yeah, yeah, we'll go back to the old days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You see, this life advice got kind of crazy there. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, cheers! I'll see you guys next week. Motherfuckers! Welcome back. Live. What the fuck, man? Fucking running like lady, eh?